Here we are at video 5 of the Site Lighting Tutorial Series. Let's continue with step 7, create a horizontal illuminance calculation polygon. While there are numerous options for placing calculation points in AGI 32, we can most easily confine points to the irregular parking lot using the polygon technique. The boundaries of the polygon will echo the boundaries of the parking area, thereby eliminating stray measurement points outside of our project scope. Select the Calculations Toolkit. Now click on the Specify Calculation Points within a Polygon button. Label the Calculation Points Polygon Parking. A description may also be entered to describe the calculation. For example, Horizontal Illuminance at Grade with 10 by 10 spacing. From here, we can accept the rest of the defaults in the dialog. The horizontal meter and grid is exactly what we want. The Z coordinate of the calculation polygon is 0. Click OK and we'll specify the polygon. So we're now ready to specify the vertices of the calculation polygon. Notice the command line in the lower left corner of the screen. Before we begin clicking, you can press the F3 key to enable Snap 2 if it's not already shown as enabled. This allows the cursor to snap to the nearest vertex. It makes the process of tracing a CAD created boundary much easier. Okay, so let's start with the first vertex. See the little red square? That's the Snap 2 command. At this point, we're almost ready to complete the polygon. Notice the rubber band attached to the cursor. We're ready to close the final side. Click the right mouse button. Obviously, the more care you take in tracing the site, the fewer stray points you'll have. So there's our calculation points, all located within the polygon boundary. Step 8. Remove calculation points as necessary. You may need to remove some additional points if your polygon boundary was larger than the parking lot. This is easily accomplished using the Remove Calculation Points button in the Calculation Toolkit. We can remove points within a polygon, a single point, a window, or even within an entity that might be under an object, for example. In this case, let's just demonstrate the polygon. That would be the default selection for the command. Let's zoom in. Maybe we're not interested in these points right here. Right click, the points are gone. Right click to initiate the command again, and we can easily polygon around those points. The rest of our site looks pretty good. Those points in that median are stray, but they're also probably well lit so we'll not be concerned with them at the moment. We can always come back and do it again. Points that are erroneously removed can be replaced using the Replace Points command. That's here on the toolbar. We can replace single, window, or all. If you wish to add additional calculation points outside the original polygon, you will either need to re-specify the polygon boundary or create an additional calculation grid. To re-specify the polygon boundary, you'd click on the Edit Calculation Points command here and select the polygon boundary. The button in the bottom of the dialog to re-specify the polygon will allow you to trace the polygon again. Here's a list of all the vertices in the polygon so you could actually correct them tabularly as well. Let's cancel. Moving on, let's go to step 9. Let's calculate the point by point. We've successfully placed two crucial elements in our parking lot recipe, luminaire locations and the calculation points. Let's calculate the results. We'll just simply click the Calculate button. The statistical summary window containing the numerical analysis information for our calculation polygon is displayed below the toolkits, as seen here. Each time the calculations are updated, this form is updated as well. 
Let's click on the plan view icon. Now we see the extents of the calculation. Zoom in and we can see individual points. We're ready to move on for some evaluation tools.